All right there gents, um, just a uh, short video showing you how I take off the uh, throttle valve um, screws uh, on old carburettors, old DCOEs, these are off a of Maserati and uh, they're 42 DCOE8s. Now, the removing um, throttle valves uh, can be quite a, uh, a difficult procedure and often, well, it can lead to damage and uh, more expense in uh, uh, buying parts after they've been damaged so uh, I've got used to doing them now and uh, I just use a very basic technique which is uh, f filing the ends of the screws the butterfly screws if you see that end uh, from the factory these are well they install them well they used to install them and then um, They'd be, they'd be punched from the back to lock them in place so they don't get ingested by the engine. So uh, I use a, a metal file to, um, to file these flat <coughs> to the spindle uh, and then um, tap them uh, with a, the hammer, well tap the screwdriver with the hammer to help shake them free as best as possible so you can have the best chance of removing the screw without uh, burring it and then having to drill it out which of has to be done on a lathe or a mill a miller so uh, key things are um i've got a woodworking vice here all right this is not metal working it's woodworking it's got a very wide um flat flat face so this is good for putting the dcoe um idf bodies inside uh, i use a a, th a thin plywood to soften it uh, but it locks the carburetor in position um, then you use the file at the back of the uh, butterfly screws to grind them down flush with the spindle body and then you need to use uh, a screwdriver that it's, is the best fit and I, I mean that you know you, you need a flat screwdriver that fits snugly into the slot um, this one is a Stanley one and uh, you can use these this size I can't remember which size screwdriver this is but I bought it specifically for um, <coughs> throttle valve screws and um, well it does a few other screws on the DCOEs um, but yeah it's it's key uh, t to get the, the the best chance of removing the screws without snapping off um, yeah that's pretty much it really uh, I don't know if the video was clear enough but you need to put your weight you need to secure the carburetor very well onto the vise because you have to apply all your weight onto the well not all of it but a heavy weight onto the screwdriver onto the butterfly uh, screw both hands and basically apply force and twist but not too much because you bend the spindle not too little because you bear this you you burr the screw so yeah, this is just, uh, I don't know if there's any tips in this video that might help you remove your throttle valve uh, screws. But yeah, there, there they are. Uh, I won't be reusing these again, even though they're original. Um, well, I might reuse them, I don't know. I'll make my mind up after I've um, phosphate plated them. Uh, if not, I'll just use um, standard Weber replacements. And here are all the, the throttle valves. And the next to come out is the spindles. So um, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's another job. So yeah, let let me know if if, if you think I could uh, help you um, with your project. Um, you know, I use basic tools, but um, I, I do the job relatively well. So hopefully, uh, yeah, you'll uh, find some use in it. Over and out. Keep working on your projects get them going and uh, enjoy using them vroom see you later lads bye